everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Minis episode, and today, we're going to be doing something. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be building a little, a little, like, gate thing, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah. So, let's get straight into it. First thing you will need is, the sp is spruce wood, dark oak planks, cobble deep slate, cobble deep slate stairs, cobble deep slate wall, cobble deep slate slab, cobble deep slate, or, wait, no, dark oak wood slab, dark oak stairs, and iron bars. <clears throat> you can also resort to chains, but iron bars. So, we're going to start off the build by building, so, you should have probably built this in the last episode. Build out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then on that thirteen block, place a spruce wood. Now go diagonally, or well, uh, left by two, up by one, and then let or left by one, and then do kind of that same thing but up like that so you should come up with this no wait hold on uh, maybe it was like that all right so yep You should have something that kind of looks a little bit like this. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Don't tell anyone that I have a grass block in my inventory. All right, so yeah, this is this is that. This is what you should come up with. And I kind of finish that off by just that that's not something doesn't look right with that and it's that isn't it yep all right now you should have this circle now on the inside of the circle add cobble deep slate kind of in a square Like so. <clears throat> well, let me just see something. Does that look better? You know, originally I didn't build this in my other world, so <laughs> I'm kind of going with the flow. Yeah, that that looks better. All right. <clears throat> now, with these dark oak, you want to go up by two. And then I'll show you how to connect them do that yep it's really really simple there we go we have that oh wait hold on now we have it now you should come up with something like that now you can well, I want you to, to add just a few of these. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to forget about the stilts of the wood, and then just build up by three with the cobble deep slate. Like so. Now, we don't forget about the wood, and we add some of these. Like so. So what we do now is go on the inside, and, uh, well, yeah, you can kind of get the idea. You, uh, fill in the inside like this. 
Now you go up by one, two, three now. And something else we're going to do is place deep slate sli uh, stairs on the edges and then in the corners and then in the corners some cobbled deep slate wall. Gonna add some uniqueness to the uh, build. Now you should have something coming out a little like this. Now you want to connect the tops with the dark oak stairs and also connect the little edges like so. Jeez. You know what I'm going to do? Uh... There we go! Thank goodness. Alright, so now you should have something that looks a little like this. Now what we're going to do is on the edges go out by one and kind of fill in the edges with the deep slate slab. Now that is what you should have. Now add one layer of dark oak planks on the entire row, or on the entire layer of this. S specifically one layer only. And then fill on the inside of that with uh, that. Now fill in that layer, and place a cobble deep slate slab. Now you should have something that looks a little like this. So, over here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little thing like so. Now what we're going to do is take out our structure block, place it right there, right there, and then go up by one. And then go over by, or put this at 10. Nope. 9, which means this is also probably going to be 9. Nope, this is 10. is do this now what you do is add that And, uh, add this. So what we're going to do is make a little gate. 
like so. Now we're going to take our structure block. And this. Now one, two, three, up. So that's eight. Now you go over by two with the uh, this is also going to be called gate. So what you do is make uh, that's seven two and you should have the entire thing right here. Now you save this, and what we're going to do is add one right there probably, then load, gate, and we're going to be doing a 180 on that. So actually I think you should add it right there, right in the center right there. Now load gate, then make a 180, and you should have that. See as it it kind of connects in the center. So that might have been a bit confusing to do. So you can just make the the thing just inverted on the other side. It's pretty simple. Now what we're going to do is add this right, uh, I didn't really realize how hard this might be. So add one up right there. Now load tower. One eighty. Okay, so it needs to be right there. So it needs to be right there and right there. So load tower. Well, first, what you want to do is do that, of course. Now load tower. Load. I messed that up. Of course I did. Hold on. Uh, load tower again. And do a 180. Now you should have that connecting. Now all I need to do is destroy that stuff. The extra stuff. Now what you should have is this, <clears throat> but we're not done. What we're going to do is get rid of this top layer right here. We're going to go on the inside and so. Now what you want to do is kind of do the same thing you did on the ground. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just, of course, in a smaller form. Now we have this. And you should end up with something like this. Also, add some deep slate stuff right there. Yep, deep slate wall. And add stairs on the edges. And then we have that.
Now what we have is this. And what you kind of want to do is just copy the stairs up to there. Like this. Now what we're going to do is add dark oak stairs right here. Go up by two on the corners. And also There we go. There's that. We add the little outline, of course. Ah, uh, chill. And, uh, then go around simply like this. And then make the top kind of like that. Now, go up by one, two, three, four, five. And grab yourself the wool that you used, or the green wool on the moss block, uh, that you used for the banners up there. And kind of make it all go in the same general direction. Now, you start off by two. You go over like this, into the three. And uh, three right there. Then we add the extra thing like this. Now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. These places up here are kind of just the main, I guess, area. Now what you want to do <coughs> is grab yourself. Wait. Smooth basalt, deep slate, and cobble deep slate. Now, on this path, kind of go off in a rocky pattern, and I kind of make it spread out into a denser, or a, well, an area with less of that specific pattern. Also, let me just say something. Today marks, uh, well, uh, yesterday marked, uh, the second anniversary, or the third anniversary for my castle world. For me personally, not for you guys. Since I started making videos, it was, it's the second anniversary. Well, no, because, wait, oh, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> okay, never mind. But, but yeah, go check that out if you want If you want to. It is on the Christmas is Here video on the building thing. Oh, there's a new title. With some pretty big hints to the, to the future. Now grab yourself these blocks. Now I am going to finish off of this just a little bit. Now you should have something that looks like this, but real quick what I'm going to do is add some rock into it. Like, oh hey, the path is ending where the stone is. So, you know, best I'll add some pretty unique rock textures. And now what you want to do is kind of add a little thing right here. Then there's, then, yeah, just kind of go with it. I 
I just gotta add the extra depth to it. That's what I go for in my builds. Well, I mean in the Tortean builds, that's kind of what I was mostly learning how to build. So you know, I wasn't. I was very. I'm. I'm. I'm I was very rusty. I was. At, at scratch that, I was extremely rusty. I was not good at building then. That's why most of the Tortan builds are going kind of look like not good. Now that we have kind of the main plaza in front of the castle, almost done. like so oh wait a minute hold on Now, oh, oh wow, okay. <clears throat> now you should have something that looks kind of like this, ex except not the same blocks, because it'd be really difficult to make block by block, and I don't want you to do that. Um, 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 um. Usually the one I use the most is the warp nylium or the cyan wool. Well, the warp warp block is just for extra, you know, detail. Details is always pretty good. Same with depth. That's why I added the depth into these buildings with the inner inner uh, walls. Now you should, oh, <laughs> now, uh, you should, have something that looks a little bit like this. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. Now, Something I might do right here is I might change the ground. So, I don't want you to do this because it's going to take a while if you don't know world edits and bedrock edition. But I, I could teach you right here, right now. So, what you do is slash fill 101. One, as you can see, it shows the coordinates in the corner. Three. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, three. Slash. Fill. One oh one. Three. Then fifty three. Now you do that, and then go over to the data you want. And what you do is slash fill. Same numbers there. And then you do 110, well not you personally, but I, I would do that. And 44, four. 
And then you do the block you want. For me, I want mycelium. That, yeah. And then you press enter. And as you can see, it turns all to mycelium. Mycelium. It's very cool. Now that was just 100 blocks. You can you can do thousands of blocks. Like you can go all the way over maybe to here. There is a limit to how far you can go. All right, so that seemed pretty good. I hope you liked that video. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.